Evening YouTube, Holy Sasquatch here. Still Friday, November 15th. It's about five, well, it is five o'clock right now. And uh, <laughs> as you can see, it's already, it's getting pretty dark. It gets dark quick up here in the mountains. And since they rolled the clocks back, or you know, whatever, we fell backwards to the normal freaking time. I'm so sick and tired of them changing the clocks. It's ridiculous. It messes with me. It takes forever for me to like, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so I just finished my dinner. I had corned beef hash, fried it up, threw some hot sauce on there and some pepper. It was absolutely delicious and I brought a pot from home. So I'm full and just kind of kicking back here at the campfire having a dip. And I thought I'd give the little story thing a, a shot. They won't, I don't think they'll be lengthy by any means, I guess. It just depends how much I ramble, but if just sec here. I had my, uh, I had my wife write down a couple ideas for me. I don't, I don't remember dates and times very well, and I've had quite a few things happen to me in my 47 years on this, whatever you want to call it, in this life. And, uh, sometimes I have a hard time remembering, so I just need her to help me open the file, and then I can remember the, so anyways, I asked her to write down a couple ideas and so she wrote zapped, confused and disoriented, hunting, break on a stump with trees shaked in front of you, and then uh, one that we shared together, the grunt monkey sounds right where we would sit in the antenna shake. Um, I guess let's... I'll, I'll, since since this is kind of her idea, I'll start with the one that that involves both of us. So, what is it? Oh, the grunt and the monkey sounds. Holy moly, that's a hell of a story. Okay, so <laughs> I had to stand back up. All right, so the grunt and the monkey sounds. So <clears throat> where we live there in Olympia, kind of. Well, in Thurston County, not 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 quite South Thurston County. I live about 20 minutes from Yelm, <clears throat> and uh, Fort Lewis property pretty much surrounds that whole area. You got the Nisqually Valley right there with the Nisqually River, a lot of farmland, and uh, it really is just an amazing place to live. That being said, uh, the property I hunt on is my brother-in-law's, and. Uh, so since this whole Sas Sasquatch thing started, my wife and I, at some point, decided it's kind of a combination deal. I want I wanted her to come out there and sit in the woods, and she wanted to do like uh, you know gifting or whatever. So we'd put like marbles and we put apples out there, and I don't know what else we put out there. But regardless, so we have a spot out there at her brother's house where we go and we've been sitting for several years, and we usually go on a Friday night. It's kind of like our uh, or Sasquatch date night in the woods. So as a way to, she's like appeasing me by coming with me out in the woods and it's, you know, we get to spend time together and <clears throat> we've been, like I said, we've been doing it for a while and we've had multiple experiences out there. But what I'm getting at here is that we sit in the same spot and we were go we generally go like every Friday night. Um, we haven't been too consistent lately, but uh, regardless, We've been going to the same spot and we've had activity there. And on this particular evening, I'll quit rambling and get to the point. <clears throat> we rolled up in my Bronco and uh, we had, at, at, at this time, I think this is last summer. And uh, we've been putting, I've been collecting apples for deer hunting, I think. And we've been putting some out there on the little, she has a little uh, wicker plate thing that we set the stuff on. And we've been putting apples out there. And we came out one Friday night, and I don't know, we were just kind of piling out of the Bronco and getting our folding chairs, and I was grabbing the flashlight, and we didn't even get around the front of the truck. This is the craziest thing in the whole world. I don't know if I'll try to make the sound, but what I'm telling you is we got out of the truck, and we parked right by the little spot, and you walk in, and we're probably 10 yards off of his driveway. I mean, it's just right there in the woods. And... We came around the front of the truck and right where we sit, right where the, the apples are, right where the, I mean, I couldn't see, of course. But I heard, dude, it was the loudest, biggest, like, 
it was a monkey sound like not a monkey but a gorilla like a man i don't know how to make the sound dude <laughs> if you can think of a gorilla making a sound like i'm in here and don't don't freaking come in here that would be the sound it was very aggressive um and it, it just it, and instantly i'm like <laughs> Instantly, I looked at my wife, and she's looking at me, and we're like, holy shit, did we both are like, did you hear that? And of course, we both did. And I'm like, I'm not going in there, dude. There's no way. I said, we'll just sit right here in front of my truck, but I am not going in there. Because what happened was, like, we, we startled it. We surprised it when we pulled up in my truck. And then it made that sound, and then it just kind of backed up a little bit further into the woods. And it, it didn't go anywhere. It was sitting right there. And so I'm like, <laughs> I said, I, I said, I'm, I'm no fool. We're just going to sit right here in front of my Bronco out of respect, but we came over here. So let's just sit right here in front of my truck. So my wife set her chair down, uh, with her back to the front of my Bronco. So she has her back right up against the grill. And then I, I got my back to the road, but I, she's on my right. And I'm looking right into the woods, right at the little opening where we go in generally to go sit, sit in our little spot so I can kind of see what's going on. And we're just sitting there listening, listening, and we're not hearing anything. <clears throat> and we're kind of just, you know, our adrenaline's pumping and we're just sitting there thinking, holy moly, that was a heck of a sound. I mean, because this, this is not a cougar, this ain't no bear. I mean, this sounded like a full-on, it sounded very gorilla-esque, and that's all I can tell you. And so we're just sitting there talking about it and I'm just kind of making jokes about how, you know, yeah, I'm not going in there because that doesn't seem like a very prudent thing to do. And on my, how do I say this? On my Bronco, I have a CB antenna on the driver's side. So, and basically if I, where I'm sitting, I got my back to her brother's driveway. She's right in front of my truck with her back to the grill. And so I can see right down the side of the driver's side of my truck. I can see cars, you know, if anybody comes down the driveway and I can look right into the woods. And so I'm just sitting there. We're sitting there. And my antenna makes a very distinct noise when like, you know, you're, you're going on a trail or something and it hits a tree limb and it kind of goes, doy -oy -oy -oy. It makes this very metallic, very, it's a very distinct sound. So we're sitting there talking about the gorilla sounds that we just heard. And this is within 10 minutes. And on my name, my antenna bent back, like I didn't see it bend back, but my antenna came flinging forwards towards the front of my vehicle, towards the front of my Bronco, like I never heard it before. And this thing was like, it hit the front of my truck and it was like, doing, 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 doing. and I'm, and I looked right, I looked at, I looked right at the drive down the driver's side of my truck and I couldn't see shit. There was, but I'm telling you right now, and I freaking stood up. And I had goosebumps from head to toe. I could not see anything. Not because it was dark. I mean, it was dark. But whatever that little predator camo thing is, I don't know, dude. But something grabbed my antenna and, and whipped that bitch. And I stood up and I, man, I had goosebumps from head to toe. And I'm looking at Misha and I'm like, honey, turn around and look. And she's like, I ain't turning around to look at anything. She goes, can you see it? And I said, no, that's the whole point. I can't see anything. But I'm telling you, dude, we're just sitting there. My truck's not moving. There's no wind. No branches fell off of trees. But something grabbed my antenna that I could not see and, flung, and just whipped that thing like I've never heard it hit before. And uh, so, yeah, I don't know, dude. That, that's the story. And the monkey sound, the, I keep saying monkey, and it's not monkey, it's gorilla. Dude, it was like, I can't make the sound, so I ain't even going to try. But it was it was just loud and aggressive, and then the, the whole antenna thing was just insane. Because something was standing right there, dude. And, and I got a six-inch lift on my truck. And to reach up and grab that antenna, I mean, you... It... <laughs> Whatever did it was tall and I couldn't see it and my wife said my eyes were look about as big as 50 cent pieces and she said from the look on my face she wasn't turning around to look at nothing. And the fact that I couldn't see anything but yet something had to be right there or have done that yet I couldn't see it was just insane.
needless to say, <laughs> we sat there for a little while longer and it was quiet after that, but I mean, that, that was just one night and we didn't even get into, the, into our little spot there and set our chairs up. We sat right in front of the truck because there's no way in hell I'm going in there after hearing some gorilla thing tell me to kiss ass and don't come in here. <laughs> Oh man. So anyways, that's the that's the grunt. When that's the grunt story with my wife and I out there at our little sit spot where we go and and listen for Sasquatch and have some encounters in the woods. So that's one of my little stories and I hope I told it fairly well and, <laughs> and that you guys enjoyed it a little bit. Um I have all kinds of other things that have happened and I got my little list, so I figured I'd start with this one, kind of a break-in. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, I'm just sitting down here. The lights have gone out in the forest, and it's dark. I'm hoping to hear some shit tonight. Oh, you know what? Here's a little side note before I forget. See, that's the other thing. My mind is, like, always going, so... If I don't do something right when I'm thinking about it, I'll never know. And if I ramble like I'm doing right now, I can forget what I'm going to say. So, that being said, the last time I was down here, I don't know if you can see or not. I don't have my flashlight. It doesn't matter, but right over there is my tent. And I always put up the little fluorescent markers, and I do that for myself. And I also do it, you know, kind of thinking that Sasquatch or any animal or anything you know might see it and you know not I don't know not get hooked when they're going through or whatever anyways it's just a safety thing but I'm sitting here last time I think it was the second night I was here and I'm laying in my tent and I just starting to fall asleep and it was windy and rainy but not too bad and I, I just starting to fall asleep and something hit the guy line for the tarp over my tent. Like something ran into it, dude. And the whole, my whole tarp in my tent was, I mean, everything was shaking. I had, I had a little bit lower last time. So it was kind of rubbing on the top of my tent. Something hit the line, dude. And I, and it woke me up and I'm thinking, what the hell? And, it, and I mean, this all happened really fast, but it hit the tent and I'm thinking, what the hell? And you know that sound you make, like when you trip and you kind of go, uh, like that. <laughs> Well, that's the sound I heard. Like some, it, it was a human sound. Something came through my, through my camp here, hit the guy line, and then like tripped and made it and just went. Ugh. And I was laughing my ass off in my tent, thinking, "Holy moly!" <laughs> so I can't say for certain what it was or wasn't, but something came through my camp and and tripped the last time and made a funny sound. <laughs> so that's my other quick little story. All right, so for now, I think I'm going to read my book. I hope you guys are having a good evening. And, uh, yeah, until my next video, holy Sasquatch out.